Hear the honeycomb breezy do to these niggas. Bro, what did this man do to these niggas? These niggas want his head bad. Ah, right, bro. I know I know beef is real when they start shooting at your family man. But what did he do? This is ridiculous. Bro. Bruh. Hey man, what's up with that? It's KA. I'm back in this thing. K show. But he sleep with a cut up with turn on the tongue, man. Hey, if y'all know how that street shit go, man. And y'all feel, first of all, like and subscribe. But if you feel like this is just some extra shit, and they should turn on again, like street shit. They ain't, they ain't no chill. They gonna do their thing. But if you feel like this is going a little bit too far, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, or comment down below. Tell me what the fuck you think. But we here to talk about honeycomb breathing. And the last time I think I talked about him was when. He got arrested for some shit. Basically, I think he was kicking it. He was chilling. Like, they literally went to go get a haircut. And ops pulled up and tried to do him. Bro, I, I was befuddled. How are you getting a lineup? They took that scene from Superfly very seriously. If you ever haven't watched Superfly, I suggest you do this on Netflix. But anyways. Well, well last year. I don't know where everybody else did. Bro. But anyways. Bro. It's ridiculous, bro. How are you trying to lie to a person when they're trying to get their fade? Come on, disrespect. At least let me look clean. But, anyways, hey, sorry, I'm still there about that drinking baby album. A dick bar came in my head, but like, bro, what the fuck he do? Because allegedly, first of all, Honeycomb Breezy is still in jail, he's locked up off a gun charge for that situation when they was basically shooting out at each other like a, a day or a couple days before, like. His grandparents funeral by the way if you didn't hear that story basically what happened was he was chilling he had so much beef that some people came executed his fucking grandparents killed him and shit, shot them dead and then they burned down the house with them in it I, I was buffered I, fine. I don't know what this man has did to the ops and what the ops have done to this man but clearly I have said and I still continue to be the, of the repeat it i can't even say proper words because i'm just that stunned and shocked by whatever is going on listen i don't condone violence i don't condone street shit i get it i understand y'all how y'all lay y'all gotta do how you gotta do this repercussions to this shit you decided to jump out there and do your thing and i have you know accept it but i ain't gonna lie bro if he go and he just start dropping ops lately this time man don't go over here man my, my business man shit there's no way a motherfucker could kill your grand grandma and grandpa and this shit. It's just you could squash this shit over some Kool Aid and some fried chicken. This ain't gonna work out. But anyways, we talk about something because while he's in jail, they shot up his mama, bruh. They shot up his mama house. They like fucking being in jail. We trying nah. What did he do? What beef is that? Fuck, fuck, nigga. Between this nigga and Jacksonville, what the, the fuck, bruh, bruh. So, overnight sh shooting may be connected to mobile rapper Honeycomb Breezy. It is. It is. Like, I, some of these fucking uh, taglines in the newspapers have. This is by NBC15. Like, some of this shit y'all niggas have come on. We know. Anyways. Terrifying moments for people on Clark Street in mobile overnight as they woke to gunfire erupting outside. Surveillance footage NBC15's Adriana Rami. Like, sorry. <laughs> obtained captured the sound of shots the mother of mobile rapper honeycomb breezy believed she was a target they came back said tanisha tanisha jones they keep shooting up your home asked rami i don't even live here because i had to leave because of this said jones jones wasn't at the house when the shots were fired but she was at the home wednesday and believes people saw her there they shot it up again i can tell i came here yesterday jones said and those weren't there said rami pointing to the bullet holes in the glass window i'm pretty sure someone would remember bullet holes the, the new things not this glass not none of that said jones a family three doors down woke when bullets came into their home overnight they declined to talk on nbc 15 news it's unclear if the shots heard in their surveillance video hit both homes or if these were two separate incidents jones says this is the fourth time her house has been shot up why do you keep why do they keep targeting you said rami because they want my son now sean jones dead replied jones her son is rapper Honeycomb Breezy. He's currently in jail, accused of violating his probation. He was arrested in 2016 on gun charges, on gun charges in February. Nashawn's grandparents, 
uh, his mom's parent, his mom's parents were killed in a mysterious shooting and fire. Mobile police can't confirm the overnight shooting is in any way connected to any other investigation. Jones says she just wants the shootings to stop before she loses another loved one. I'm kind of like shaky. I'm kind of like nervous. I'm kind of like upset. And I lost everything, said Jones. First of all, that's fucking sad. Second of all, this man is in jail. Like, what, what, excuse me? This man is not even out. Yo, what pain? What did he do? Uh, uh, bruh. Bruh. See, I did a video. And when they locked his ass up, I'm like, there's no way my ass gonna go to, to a barbershop and get a fade and a motherfucker. A shootout gonna happen. I ain't got no pull on. He protecting himself. Now, I understand police. Y'all doing your thing. Y'all... Uh, following the laws and i get it i understand i ain't mad at you for that y'all be doing some fuck shit with black people but that's that's a video for another day but besides that and ain't everybody in that organization is just some bad apples that fuck it up pretty rest of but anyways like i was saying you know i understand y'all doing your job he uh fucked up his probation put him back in i get it but if bullshit like this is happening can you blame the man for having guns I can't. There is no way. You are lucky this man is not going for vengeance. If he is minding his business, if somebody tried me, got an off on him, trying to continue his life and be peaceful and try to make it in the rap game to honor his grandparents who lost their life because of his fuckery, I, that takes some solace and respect the young man because he's not out there chasing motherfuckers to try and get vengeance. But there's no way... This beef is continuing, and I'm going to just sit here walking, shimmying down the road with no weapon if they're doing all of this. What's up? Bruh. Bruh. Come. Let, let him out. Let him out. I'm t let him out. Enough. Let him out. Let him out. Enough. I'm astounded. Bruh, this is ridiculous. She just came in to probably grab some shit. Left. Oh, she back home and they spun the block like this? Now again, I know we talking about it because it is a rapper. And yes, this does happen in life. But it's still not right, bro. I believe if you have an issue with somebody, you can handle it with that person. But I also know, you know, beef is real when you shooting at the family. Hey, if it's that point, it's that point. But this is ridiculous. I just feel like they just want to take everybody this nigga love. It's like, oh, he and Joe, we can't get him? Fuck you. We just want to take it. Like, bro, what's up? What? Man, let me go and breathe. Keep your head on, man. Keep your head on, bro. Ah, right, bro. I ain't got shit to say. The fuck is going on in Mobile, Alabama? The fuck, bro? Get this nigga on. All the blog pages, the road star hacking there. Cover that motherfucker. Cover him. Blow his ass up. Enough is enough. Bro, help move all his family members out the hood. Because enough is enough. Ah, right, bro. I am just astounded. Between him and Jacksonville, bro, we like we have a lot of niggas to blow up, so none of this bullshit be happening. And it still might happen. If you be taking in these Jacksonville videos, bro, it, I'm done. Like, subscribe, help your boy, I'll help your boy grow. Hey, man. <laughs> Mama Brazy, keep your head off. Hey, free my nigga, honey. Call. Hey, that's all I gotta say, man. Shlam, Zoom, Peace, y'all, Elish, Gang, Aish, I.